Mr. Secretary, as I outlined in my opening statement, Vladimir Putin's investment in Donald Trump prior to the 2016 election clearly continues to pay off handsomely. Withdrawing troops from Germany, troops in Germany is not about Germany. Troops in Germany is about our own national security interests. Redirecting funds from the European Deterrence Initiative, that's an initiative, as you well know, to deter Russia, to pay for the president's ineffective border wall, and refusing to follow the law and impose meaningful sanctions under CATSA. But perhaps most shockingly, while we have all known for some time that Russia has provided support to the Taliban, both arms and resources, imposing bounties on the heads of U.S. service members is an outrageous escalation. President Trump astonishingly admitted in an interview on Tuesday that he's never raised the issue with Mr. Putin, even though he's spoken to him about seven times this year alone. Mr. Secretary, do you consider how you would react to such behavior from a Democratic president if he were sitting in your old house seat? Would you be okay with a president who abandoned our troops but not even raising this with the Kremlin? Mr. Chairman, you, you a ranking member, uh, you've identified four uh, items where you're concerned about our actions with respect to Russia, I'd like to address each of them. Uh, that's what I think about a second. I only ask one question. Yes, I, I don't spend much time thinking about what I would have done were I still in the House of Representatives. I'm very focused on my job as Secretary of State today. Would you be okay? All right, let me ask you this. Have you raised concerns with Russia and its Foreign Minister Lavrov with respect to Russia reportedly placing bounties on the heads of service members in Afghanistan? I want to be very careful about what's a public record and what's intelligence-based, but yes, um, I can assure you and the American people that each time I've spoken with Foreign Minister Lavrov, I've raised all of the issues that put any American interest at risk, whether that's our soldiers on the ground in Syria, soldiers on the ground in Afghanistan, uh, the activities that are taking place in Libya, uh, the actions in Ukraine, e each and every one of these that uh, potentially threaten American interests are things that I raised in my conversations with Foreign Minister Lavrov, and I speak with him with some frequency. I appreciate that answer. I ask you specifically, have you raised concerns? This is in the public sphere. I'm not that, talking about classified it's not materials. classified, Senator. Have you raised, there are public reports, very well documented, that the Russians were supposedly paying bounties to kill our service members. Have you raised that issue with Foreign Minister Lavrov? Senator, I'm going to be more careful than you're being with respect to the intelligence. I'm, I'm, going to t I'm going to tell you that, make no mistake about it, the proper people have been aware of every single threat to our soldiers on the ground in Afghanistan, whether that was General Miller or my team at the embassy there in Kabul. Anytime there was a tactical threat on the lives or the health or the safety and security or our assets in place, we have raised this with our Russian counterparts, not only at my level, but in Ambassador Sullivan, and every one of our team that interacts with the Russians, we've made very clear our expectations. Let me turn to, to threaten us in Afghanistan. Let me turn to a few other questions. Uh, maybe you can answer these just simply yes or no. I think they're just factual in nature. Uh, did Turkey purchase the S-400 system from the Russian Federation? Yes. Did Turkey pay approximately $2.5 billion for that system? Senator, I'm, I'm not aware of the amount of the transaction. But they did pay them whatever the amount is, right? Senator, I, I believe that's correct. This, this I, I, although, Senator, let me just, I, I apologize. I am not certain that the uh, cash has been exchanged. Does the Turkish government currently have the S-400 in its possession? It, it has an S-400, yes. D did Turkey test the S-400 radar on an American-built F-16 in November of 2019, as was publicly reported? Senator, I, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm not going to discuss classified information in this setting. Has the president raised the S-400 with uh, President Erdogan? Uh, I don't talk about things that the president speaks about with foreign counterparts. Uh, the, the, the White House is free to do that if they choose, but I, I'm not going So to let me that. ask you a simple question. You sent me a response just on Monday saying that you take your responsibilities under CATSA seriously and that you fully intend to comply with the law. Well, all of these elements clearly are in violation of CATSA. So uh, over uh, a year since all of these facts have attached, when will the administration follow the law 
and impose cuts or sanctions on Turkey. Senator, in response to the Turkish government's uh, acquisition of the S-400, we've taken significant actions uh, that have had a real impact on Turkey. We've pulled out a very significant weapons program that they were building significant pieces of inside of Turkey, the F-35 program. And we continue to evaluate uh, how to apply sanctions in order to achieve our end objective. Our end objective isn't uh, to punish, it's to ensure that uh, our NATO partner uh, acts in a way that's consistent with American national security and the security of our NATO partners as well. Our diplomats, Ambassador Satterfield on the ground, are working diligently. I, I had a very pointed question. I know that you're a Harvard graduate, West Point graduate. You know what my question was. Uh, it's not about everything else. It's about CATSA. Uh, but uh, you've decided not to answer that. So let me go to the final question. Uh, you had the Inspector General uh, of the State Department, Mr. Linick, uh, ultimately fired. Is that correct? Uh, I, I recommended to the president that he be terminated, yes. And you recommended it to the president he be terminated, why? Because he was conducting investigations that may affect you? Senator, at the time I made the recommendation to the president, I was unaware of any of the investigations that were ongoing, that he had ongoing at the time, with one exception. I was aware of an investigation that he had asked me to uh, provide testimony. I provided that testimony. Other than that, I was unaware of any investigation. It's not remotely the reason. Uh, was uh, your undersecretary, Mr. Bullitt, Taylor, aware, and didn't he speak to you about it? He did not speak to me about it. Well, you said that the IG was not performing in the way he should have uh, because he wasn't following, in essence, what you wanted to. Well, inspector generals aren't supposed to follow what the department head wants to. They're supposed to be independent in pursuit of their mission.